seven fighting spirits in a row situation. I think it's a, I think that's a good rule. All right, let me let me let me uh, wait till Karate joins. Okay, one more rule: no repeat maps. All right, good. So we are ready to go. Pretty good. But this is a cast. Good. Good, you guys out. <clears throat> I don't know where all these guys are coming from. I wasn't aware that I had a posse. This is this is like what happens when uh, LRM No One joins a game. He has like 80 people follow him in for no good reason. So, looks like we're getting started here. I didn't even get to do a proper intro. Except I guess you guys already know what event this is. And in the bottom left, as the brown zerg doing something while I turn on my uh, game music. Oh, so lovely. As the brown zerg will be uedkarate.sl. Look, look at those fancy tags. Not only do they have a UED tag in the front, but he's got an SL in the back. You know, I asked, I asked the UED guy what this actually means. And then he told me, and then I forgot, so... <laughs> Whoops. It, it means something cool. It's probably like, um... Super League or something like that. You know, like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? But shortened. Because that would be, like, way too long for a tag. Uh, and the yellow Protoss is going to be Mazur. Because, you know, he's Protoss. This is probably him. So I'm going to change this. It's going to be P1. Uh, and Karate will be... He... No, he's gonna be Z. It's gonna be Z7. Boom. So, as I said before, uh, this is being streamed by two people. Myself, of course, and also Elegant, AOV, who uh, co-casted with me recently for the Ribbon Revival Tournament Finals. So, if you guys like his casting, you can definitely go check out his stream. Uh, I imagine it's on Team Liquid. I can't actually remember the exact stream link. It might be Moat SC. I don't know. I don't know. They pro it's it's on TL. It's on TL. I, I promise you. And if I'm wrong, then I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's something specialist. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh, modesty. That's not what Sean. That's not what uh, IRX said. It's not what IRX said. He said something else. I think it actually is something league. Hold on, it's on their website. I can I can find it after this game. Now I actually want to know again. It means something cool. It's definitely definitely baller. So we got the 12 hatch action. I feel a little bit uh, uncomfortable without my obs mode. Uh, I mean these games are being played on Icy Cup with Icy Cup launcher, so I have to use like the the plain old Brood War interface. And uh... oh, thank you Shinrei, thank you Shinrei. It apparently stands for the Sadoran League. Which uh, I think he said means like warrior or something. The warrior league. Uh, it's pretty badass either way. Basically, if you have that on your name, you are a badass. So like karate is verified badass. Uh, and Mazur is also pretty badass because you know he plays like the most ridiculous epic P uh, PVZs that I've ever seen. Except for my own games, of course, because you know <laughs> I'm amazing at PVZ. But anyway, uh, karate. Going for the gas already, his drone... He's got like drones all over the place, man. He's gotta go try and take a third somewhere. And look, look at this sneaky little probe, he might just uh, try and cannon rush this. Mazur. Kinda like Oya, man. Likes to do them cannon rushes. Uh, and he hasn't actually built a cannon at his front. Now, I don't know if Karate saw that, that probe. Uh, we shall see. So he's gonna take that hatchery. And this probe's gonna block this guy, but that doesn't actually matter. Because he spent the money already. So, is Mazur actually going to cannon rush this? Yes, he is. Uh, he's got to be a little bit careful, though. Um, if you put your cannons a little bit... Like, there's some there's some cannon spots here where the cannon actually is out of range of the uh, of the hatchery. And I think Karate did see it, though. Yeah, he is sending all his lings over there, so that's not going to happen. Because, um, of course, the hatchery while it's building has much has very short sight range. But his drone, I'm pretty sure, saw the probe there. So, uh, so yeah, he's going to take that out pretty easily. Um, and Missouri is just going to get two cannons at the front here. Uh, interesting positioning of the second pylon. Usually that goes in the main. I don't know why that's at the natural. That's actually 
very interesting. He might be trying to hide some tech here at the natural in a funny location that usually wouldn't have pylon power. That'd be quite cool. Uh, anyway, there's one probe in the main once again. I'm just gonna see this lair going down. Uh, looks like Cardi actually poked up here to make sure there wasn't anything else hiding up here. Uh, and one cell is just gonna come out to attack. Now that doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Uh, since there's six things on the field, however, it seems that all six things are going back to kill a probe that's already dead. So that's less than ideal. But so if this zealot gets caught out in the middle of the map by the six things, it's going to do like absolutely no damage. But I mean, once it gets here, it can actually hide in like these little gaps between the minerals and like kill a lot of links. So it's actually not that that bad to have that one zealot there. And so there's the core going down in the natural. There's an, there's a pylon going down in the main. I mean. That's gonna get scouted by the Overlord, so this seems kinda kinda weird to me. It's not a huge deal though. And it looks like uh Missouri's actually just gonna run into the main here. Might wanna just run back here into the minerals. I think he might just be trying to buy time or something. I don't know. I'd like it if he just, you know, tried to abuse one of these little choke positions. Uh, he's sending out a second zealot to the natural, but Karate's uh, got great anticipation here, already six zealots back at his own natural. Looks like second gas is just completed and a stargate has been built for Mazur. And looks like, is this Zillet actually going to escape? That can't be right. No, he's going to go back. No, he's doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. He's doing a barrel roll. He actually just did a barrel roll in the middle of the map. That was pretty baller. Good job, Mr. Zealot. Uh, unfortunately though, the, Zerg the Zerglings have speed now, so they are, well they should both die. Uh, looks like one guy's gonna get away. Okay, that's fine. Spire is going down. Second gas. That probably means we're gonna see mutalisks. There was a touch of lag right there. I hope it's not serious. Uh, fourth hatcher going down as well. But it is almost certainly gonna be mutalisks. Now, um, oh, I like this very much. One dragoon in the main to take out this overlord. Something I do a lot as well. Just go. Uh, relatively early Dragoon, just to kill this Overlord. It's not, uh, you know, too, too big of a deal, but it is annoying for the Zerg, at least. Kind of a little, uh, a uh, little bit of annoyance tactic. So, Overlord's coming out. I actually didn't look to see if, uh, if Karate was saving Larva for the Mutus. Looks like he actually just made a bunch of Overlords. Got a few speed links here at the front. And we do have an archives. Man, Mazora, this is a really interesting place to put all your tech. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if this is particularly good or bad. I, I think it's fine. It's not, not a huge deal. And it's probably going to be very important for... Oh, Scourge! Scourge completely bugging out. And look at that. The Corsair is even going to see the Mutas. I actually don't know if he saw the second gas as well. Because that would be a pretty clear indicator. Either way, he knows his mutas now, um, so he is making a third Corsair and throwing down just one cannon in the main uh, and one in the back of the natural. Uh, so not gonna not gonna overreact to that. Um, Karate is uh, adding on a fifth hatchery now at his third and ooh, almost getting that Corsair. That would actually be quite important uh, to make these mutas that much more effective. It's like only four mutas out right now. Uh, I wish I could see if he was getting carapace or something. Fortunately. There is no ops mode with Icy Cup Launcher, so I shall have to make do. And, oh, well, just as I said he wasn't overreacting, he builds like five more cannons. I don't understand this cannon. Two cannons in each mineral line is fine. He's even making an Archon. Wow, that's a little bit much. He's going for cannons, Corsairs, and Archons. He's like triple defending the Mutas. Day 9 would be very upset about this. Well, actually, I don't think he'd be as upset, because I don't think Day9 actually ever gets upset. But he'd be, like, as close to upset as you could be when you're, you know, always happy and baller like Day9 is. But yeah. Redundancy, man. He made a whole podcast about it. I have it on my iPod. That's pretty nice. Killing all those links. But triple defending something, it's not good. It's not good. And, and see, and then the thing is, like... Karate's not even, you know, really committing to the mutas. He's just teching up as normal. So, you know, having spent all that money on cannons, all that money on Corsairs, plus making an Archon so you don't have storms, uh, Mazur's gonna have a little bit of trouble against Hydras in the mid-game. It's 
so we do have a third going down. And a fourth for Karate. He's actually almost finished. Uh, and look at this, yeah, he only made, uh, looks like nine mutas. I think it's in fact exactly nine mutalisks. Just going around, uh, I don't think he did actually invest in any upgrade for them. Um, Karate does have plus one ground weapons, he's just gonna chill here for a bit. Is he still making Corsairs? No, it looks like he stopped at four. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do have a lot of Scourge coming out, though. So Karate looks like he actually does want uh, air dominance here, but there's an Archon on the field, and oh no, Karate's gonna take a couple of hits here. His mutas were chilling outside the base. That's a nice move by Mazur. A little bit careless of Karate, but it looks like... Oh my god, what the heck? Karate going in for the snipe. He gets the probe, but he takes so much damage. He's trying to micro around to avoid the uh, Archon, but... This is really, really brave. He is going to get one force there. He's going to get just one, and the cannons will finish. So that's going to be the end of that. I don't know if that was really necessary. I mean, that was a lot of Scourge gone and uh, a lot of damage on those Minas. Looks like he's got a, a Spore calling you. That's interesting. I think Karate might have thought that Mazor was going more Corsair heavy than he actually was. Um, so both players kind of uh, overcompensating a little bit. But... Uh, Mazur looks like he's comfortable moving out now. I'm not sure about this. He's got not many units, and oh no, his High Templar could get sniped. No, he's going to move him back. got to be so, so careful with those, uh, especially with a, a pack of Mutas still on the field. Um, but I, I really think he should just be defending right now. He's got only like a control group of units. Yeah, he's just going to chill here at the third, uh, sending a DT over to the 9 o'clock. Uh, I might like another DT here at the 6 just to check that out, um, but that's fine. We do have one nice ling running, uh, patrolling these bases. Oh, it looks like he's actually patrolling all three bases at the top left. That is fine. And where's Karate's army? He's got a few Hydras here. He's got a few Hydras here. Not uh, particularly the good big army yet. He is uh, producing more though. Getting yet another hatchery. I believe that it makes it uh, six hatcheries for him in total. Yeah, it does. So going for some... Ooh, sniping of course there. Going for some big uh, mid-game Hydra and probably Lurker play. Oh, whoa. Interesting storms there. I don't know if he actually casted those separately, or he actually just missed, like, selected two Templar and did, like, a magic box cast. I... I'm not sure. That would be interesting. Anyway, Robo going down. Um, and a Dark Archon is on the field! Looks like uh, Mazora wants to go for the Maelstrom on these Mutalisks. Ah, I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, the Mutas are all almost dead already, and there's only, like, six left. I don't think that's actually necessary. I mean, that's cool. That is certainly cool and sexy, but... In terms of utility uh, and cost efficiency, I, I'm not so, sh not so sure about that. I really don't think that's worth it at this point. He's got two Archons and two Corsairs. Mazur's, Mazur's actually just building like every single anti mutalisk thing he can think of. And that's just not... Not good, because Karate switched into Hydra Lurk. Look, he's going Hydra Lurk. Ah, uh, I don't really like this. I like this though. Oh, wait. Boom, that's nice. So Karate won't even see the, uh, or get the warning message. But Karate, with his mutas, like, he hasn't actually done that much damage, like, in terms of killing probes and stuff. And, oh man, he's even going to show the Dark Archon. And Karate's probably actually going to be really happy about this, because even though he hasn't done that much direct damage, just the amount of stuff that he's forced Mazur to make, it has made these mutas worth it already. I mean, this DA... As, as much as, you know, a fan of DAs as I am, I, I don't like it in this case at all. This is just not the time. 